What's up, coaches? Hey, this is Coach Sess. Hey, I want to hit you up with a quick concept. It's really simple, but sometimes we take it for granted. And it's all about getting your student, your client, your protege, your apprentice, whatever you want to call him or her, getting them to focus on the positive. So I had a situation where I'm training a fighter how to use the speed bag. And what I noticed was that the fighter would go through one, two, three, four repetitions of doing it correctly. And then the fifth repetition, they would mess up or do it horribly. But they put more emotional context to the mishap more so than they did the cor uh, correct techniques. I would correct the behavior, but then I realized there was no need to correct the behavior, correct the response. I asked the person, why are you putting so much emphasis on the one you mess up instead of emphasizing the ones you do well? Once I was able to do that and they looked at me and shrugged their shoulders like, hey, I never thought about it like that. Then they went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to 15 before they messed up again. And then I continued to let them go through this cycle over and over and the numbers improved. Now, eventually, they, you would mess up. There's, there's nobody that lands all the punches, but the good news is you don't miss them all either, okay? So focus on the positive position of anything that you're doing, whether it be arm bars, whether it be takedowns, punches and kicks. In any training environment, you're not always going to get every one of those movements uh, perfect. Actually try to get yourself to repeat the process in terms of whatever you thought was good, but don't invest too much into the negative.